Hey guys, welcome back to the second video on this channel, which I wasn't really planning on making, but uh, I got a lot of positive response in the comment section of the earlier video, and uh, also some of you have uh, somehow managed to find out my socials, like my WhatsApp number, my Instagram ID, and uh, you you guys have been messaging me. So yeah, really thankful for the positive response, and I'm really sorry if I haven't been able to respond to everyone, because I've been a bit busy, I've been doing some traveling, so apologies for that. And yeah, uh, let's just get straight into it. I do not want to waste time because YouTube info is a 15 minutes limit on this video, and there are a lot of things to talk about. And yeah, from the thumbnail of the video, you might have gotten most of your information already. In the very first part of the video, I'll clear up some very critical doubts, which I think I should have cleared up in the previous video, but they didn't come to my mind. I have noted all of these in this notebook that I've kept here, and I'll be going through them one by one. So apologies if I look out of frame. Uh, and yeah. Also, uh, the second part of the video, I have uploaded some of my uh, samples, samples, sample PDFs of my concise notes. Uh, I have selected the subjects at random, nothing as such. Uh, uh, I think I will be uploading pediatrics, radiology and uh, biochemistry. Uh, so yeah. so uh, just to give you guys an idea of how I really make my concise notes. And uh, finally, in the last part of the video, I will be talking about this very thing known as the bare minimum protocol. I know it's a very unimaginative name, very no, very non-creative, but uh, it uh, you know it conveys the message very nicely. This is the bare minimum that you guys have to do if you you know if you want to crack this exam. So this is something that each and every one of you has to do. So let's start with the doubts. Uh, well, the very first doubt is uh, I got is sir. Uh, we don't know anything, we are starting from scratch, absolute zero and we are planning to start Marrow Notes and uh, Marrow Notes, Marrow Question Bank, Marrow GTs, whatever and we are scared that we won't be able to revise it seeing the thickness of the books. So from, uh, so my answer for that is you just that you have just answered your own question. If you think you won't be able to revise Marrow Notes, just don't do it. Nobody is holding a gun at your head and uh, you know forcing you to read Marrow. Just use some other concise resource. and. Uh, I'll say this one thing about Marrow, the question bank, the test series, the GTs, hands down are the best. Nobody can compete with them for now. But over the years, Marrow notes and Marrow videos have really degraded in the sense that they have quantified it, it, a, quantified it a lot. I mean, uh, Marrow at this point is for children who are in first and second MBBS. And you know, it's for kids who are very sensitive and have already started making notes from first and second MBBS itself. It's a bad resource, it's a bad starting point for anyone who's in third minor, final year, intern, post intern. Because nahi hone wala revise. It's 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 very unrevisable. And uh, Maro always claims that they have a strike rate of 98-99% from their notes. That's similar to Harrison saying that we have a hundred percent strike rate in medicine MCQs. I mean Harrison's is this big, it has two volumes, it's this big and they claim to have a strike rate of 100%. Of course you will have a strike rate of 100%. Uh, you literally have added everything to your notes. So if you think about it, that doesn't make sense. Uh, I'd rather prefer a resource which has a 80-85% strike rate but which is more concise than you know Marrow which is this big and has a 100% strike rate. So yeah, if you're starting fresh, please do not use Marrow. Just avoid it. The second doubt was that sir, we have already read some subjects from Marrow and uh, let's just say you're a student who started uh, you know Marrow in third minor so let's just say ENT, Ophthal, PSM and uh, final year subjects uh, like surgery, pediatrics you get what I'm trying to say you have read those from Marrow but first and second year subjects you haven't read from Marrow so my advice in that case is since you have already read from Marrow stick to that stick to that please do not jump onto a new set of notes now alright so Alright, you have read from Marrow, let's just say for a university exams or whatever earlier, you read from those Marrow notes, stick to those, read those again during your first reading, alright, let's just say you have, let's just say you had read Marrow ka OBGY notes for your university final exams, alright, and that was your primary source, so read those notes again during your first reading, do the question bank, if time, do the PYQs, non-negotiable, and then, as I said in my first video, make a concise set of notes you know take out half a day take out one day and from those marrow notes you know concise everything that you feel is important and that is how you deal and that is how you deal with subjects that you have already read from mario and you think revise nahi hone wala hai. 
immediately in that very moment during your first read immediately concise the notes later on okay this goes for any other resource let's just say you had joined dams you had joined bhatia you know maybe you made some notes from prep ladder and you have a feeling ki you won't be able to revise them do this very own thing stick to those resources use that during the first reading use that during the first reading do question bank do key values and then concise the notes as simple as that but yeah if you think i mean dams notes are very revisable uh, i've seen some of my batchmates notes uh, if you think ki notes revise ho jayenge you will be able to revise them later then there's no need to concise the notes it's all dependent on you of course uh, the main thing is not to make new notes forcefully just to ensure that they are revisable during the first revision second revision third revision and so on all right so if you have a set of notes and you think they are revisable stick to those there's no need to concise that again but if you already have read a set of notes and you think they won't be revisable then you have to concise those notes all right that is the essence of what i'm trying to say all right now the third doubt that i got asked is so what about marrow question bank well uh, now here's an unpleasant truth that i'm going to tell you marrow question bank is not necessary if you want to score a decent rank but question bank is necessary if you want to score a good rank i'll tell you what that is now that is very subjective uh, a decent rank and a good rank definition might vary from person to person but if you put it uh, according to me a good rank is anything below 1000 and a decent rank you know just say below 8000 9000 below 10000 for some people is also fine so let's just be practical at this point i mean uh, if you're just doing the pyqs if you're just doing the pyqs along with your set of notes and you know adding on to that later expect a decent rank but do not expect a great rank i mean uh, you will definitely get something below 8 or 9000 but let's just be honest you won't be scoring something uh, something amazing like you know under 5000 sorry under 500 under 600 ai all right let's be grounded in reality uh yeah if you want to score an earth shattering rank uh, let's just say in double digit uh, region say ai 20 ar 30 then i mean you will have to study extensively you will have to do your notes you will have to do your question bank you will have to do your pyq you will have to do everything you will have to supplement other sources so that is a price of being at the top but yeah i mean uh, some people are just satisfied with uh, you know under 10000 under 9000 rank for that only doing pyq is perfectly fine in my opinion again there might be variations uh, provided you do revisions of course provided you do revisions so i'll be talking about this in the bare minimum protocol so yeah if you're aiming for a decent rank fair enough just pyqs are enough but if you're aiming for a great rank if you want to get into the best institutes of the country you have to do the P, uh, you have to do the question bank there's no option about that now the next doubt that i frequently get asked is sir what about first aid so what about first aid well uh, first aid is a very misunderstood but yet a very great resource uh, now i'll tell you what the thing with first aid is from first aid you can do the following subjects you can do physiology you can do biochemistry uh, you can do patho you can do pharmac you can do micro you can do psychiatry to some extent and you can do biostats from psm so these are all the things that you can do from first aid you know now the thing is some people absolutely hate first aid that is fine uh, some people just don't like the layout some people swear by it so what is exactly the real deal with first aid now some people now first aid has been hyped up a lot and you know in the recent 1 uh, 2 years you know some people think that first aid is a magical pill that will solve all of their problems first and second aid but it is not like that yes first aid is a very great resource first aid is an excellent resource i myself have used first aid for microbiology for uh, for micro Uh, I used it for micro. I used it for patho, some aspects, and I used it for I used it for biochemistry. Yeah, the I, I used it for biochemistry and I used it for biostatistics. First aid is a great resource, but only first aid is not enough. Only first aid is not enough. You will have to annotate your first aid at least from PYQs. First aid may information hai thodi kam. First aid has less information. so uh, for people who are just doing first aid that is not enough you have to do first aid and then you have to do your pyqs and your question bank preferably and then annotate it and then start revising it then it becomes an excellent resource first aid stand alone very sorry to say is not enough uh, it has like 60% of the critical portion that you require the other 40% you will have to add on from question bank and pyqs so that is a deal with first aid don't be afraid just go with it just go with first aid but 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 it is necessary to do question bank and pyqs if you are using first aid 
uh, that is a price for reading a very small set of notes you will have to add on to information for a bit right so finally coming to the bare minimum protocol now i know some of you expected uh, me to speak about the resources that i have used but there's a fallacy with that everybody's situation is different i was an excellent student in my first year in my second year i did not read at all uh, in my third minor there was a bit of a recovery and in my final year i buckled up again so i got really good scores in final year and uh, i had started making my own marrow notes uh, yes very ironic i am saying don't use marrow but i myself was a confused kid and i had already made my own marrow notes for third minor and final year subjects so i stuck to those notes i stuck to my third minor and my final year notes of course i concise them i concise them after my first read but for the my first and second year subjects i'll be making a separate video on these regarding what resources i used all right the thing is everybody's situation is different everybody's situation is different you know uh some people have been diligently reading from first year itself uh, some people you know there there's dips in our performance uh, some people are post intern some people have been working as a medical officer for many years uh, so, um, there's droppers there's interns there's pre interns everybody's situation is different but here is a basic framework that each and every one of you can use in order to crack this exam this is known as a bare minimum protocol itna to karna hi padega this much you have to do you have no option all right so thing is let's just assume a student who's starting from zero you know he's a he's a post intern a medical graduate you know a dropper or whatever or an intern or it can be anyone and let's just say you're starting from zero you have absolutely no clue you haven't paid any attention in your mbbs which is totally fine everyone's circumstances are different and you just don't know what is going on you're all alone and you have to start from scratch so what is a bare minimum protocol uh, for each and every subject just pick up the rapid revision notes you know those can be anything those can be from marrow from prep ladder from bhatia from dams now that much i'm not going to spoon spoon feed all of you guys right just pick up the smallest set of notes that you get and the smallest set of notes is the rapid revision so jao rapid revision utha ke leke aao for all 19 subjects for all 19 subjects and yes i'm not just saying this casually i have been through the rapid revision of all of the subjects and i believe that it is more than enough if you want to score a decent rank not a great rank 9k 8k ke under aa hi jayega you will get a rank below 9000 10000 do not worry just take my advice and go for it so 19 subjects pick up 19 sets of rapid revision notes all right read those rapid revision notes all right read those rapid revision notes move on to the pyqs from marrow all right uh, now i haven't used question banks of other resources that's why i'm just uh, quoting marrow right now so you did the rapid revision videos sorry you did the rapid revision notes do the videos only if you feel it's necessary or if you are really confused at certain uh, topics all right you read those notes okay do the pyqs i'm not telling you to do the question bank because this is the bare minimum protocol all right the bare minimum so do the rapid revision notes do the pyqs all right do the pyqs if you are really short on time you can directly annotate your rapid revision notes you know with information that you are adding on और इफ यू हैव अ बिट ऑफ टाइम ऑन योर हैंड्स रैपिड रिविजन के नोट्स को भी कंसाइज करो फ्रॉम द नॉलेज दैट यू गेन फ्रॉम द प्रीवियस ईयर क्वेश्चन सो या सो यू डन योर रैपिड रिविजन नोट्स ऑल राइट यू रेड योर रैपिड रिविजन नोट्स डू द पी वाई क्यूज ओनली डू द पी वाई क्यूज ओनली आफ्टर डू यू डू द पी वाई क्यूज यू गेट अ वेरी गुड आइडिया रिगार्डिंग वॉट इज इंपॉर्टेंट वॉट इज नॉट एंड देन फाइनली इफ यू हैव टाइम इफ यू डोंट हैव टाइम डायरेक्टली एनोटेटेड ऑन द नोट्स इफ यू हैव टाइम यू नो फ्रॉम योर ओन हैंड रिटन मैनर कंसाइज डाउन योर नोट्स सो वॉट यू बी हैविंग इज नाइनटीन सब्जेक्ट्स 19 long books consisting of concise notes which contain all the information from the previous year questions so this is the bare minimum protocol and uh, what i've observed is that a lot of people get hung over so ye use kare wo use kare ye use kare and you know in this confusing circle nobody starts studying at all they are hung up over resources some arrow prep ladder bhatia dams kya use kare kya use kare and in that time you'll realize that you just wasted you know multiple weeks just pondering over the resources so just pick up a set of rapid revision notes that's on you to decide which one you want there's a lot of information available on telegram uh, those notes are everywhere to download so just pick a set of notes that you're comfortable with just start reading those rapid revision notes do the pyqs annotate the notes or make your own set of concise handwritten notes and then keep on revising them first revision second revision third revision 
you will be doing this in a very short span of time and this is applicable for anyone uh, a person who's working a person who's an intern you will be able to do this uh, you'll be able to do good amount of revisions like two three revisions in a span of eight or nine months you don't even require a whole year so yeah that is my advice as for my individual resources that i use i think i'll be making a separate video for this but for now i think this is more than enough for you guys to get going and you know to have a confident start